So one day, my sister was watching old reruns, and we saw The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad was on. Me and my buddy grew up on adventure movies like that, and all of our lives we dreamed about going on some swashbuckling middle-of-nowhere hunt for something incredible. We both just got paid, so we said, screw it. We decided to go to the Christmas Islands, for obvious reasons. I mean, look at the colors. We even bought journals to keep logs and maybe publish them one day. Did you break anything? Mm-mm. You didn't close the door. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We had come to the conclusion that we needed a tour guide. Like in the movies. A local who is well versed in the language of the land who we could trust. I happened to notice one on the street who looked like he was straight out of a John Sturgis film. But turns out he was actually just a businessman. I mean, I'm not surprised. I didn't realize that most locals probably had better things to do than to walk us around their home. I mean, he was nice enough to direct us to the local tour services center, but that was underwhelming to say the least. Hello and welcome to the Christmas Islands. I will be your tour guide for the day. Our next step was to charter a ship, kind of like Sinbad. I had some experience with sailing, but the captain interfered, and he told us he would only allow us out if we had a valid boating license. I was so disappointed, thinking we would only be stopped by some slip of paper, until he mentioned he does paid boat rides. We, we had to agree, we, we had no other choice. We met a couple other yokels who were taking the same ride. The captain tried to make it seem like this big adventure, but the couple told us this was their third year doing this. So much for authentic travel. I felt like Jules Verne would be embarrassed if he saw us now. We arrived at the shore and made our way to the village the captain said was hidden beyond the forest. I'm not sure it was hidden, though. There was a very clear path cut through the forest leading to it that, that had tire tracks. When we arrived, we were all immersed in the atmosphere until my buddy pointed out that there was a merchandise stand. Hello. Some of the buildings looked way too new. Was anything real anymore? We were lucky. We found a journal hidden under a knot of grass under some steps which told of an unmarked grave that was full but had no body. So we ditched the tour group and went out to find it. I thought we had finally found our adventure, which only brought us to a field and no further. See, there was a construction going on for a new research facility, and no matter how much we pleaded, the guy who came out to tell us told us that we could be charged. The sun was setting and we had to return the tour tablet by eight. I mean, at least the guy was nice enough to give us a lift back to town. And that's it, that's that. No big good old adventure. Nothing. How was it? <sighs> You're probably tired from all the adventuring. Were there bad guys trying to stop you? Yes, but they weren't bad guys. They were stopping you from exploring and stuff. Of course they were bad. There wasn't much to explore anyway. Silly, <laughs> probably just got the wrong map. It's always sad if you look in the wrong place. What do you want to do when you're older? Well, someone told me you have to be 16 to drive a car, so I want to be 16 and then I'll drive around north looking for adventure where no one's gone. You really think it's out there? <laughs> I guess. You sound unsure why. Well, it sounds like your adventure was boring. Maybe it's not such a good idea to go out. Hey, come on, what makes you say that? It wasn't boring at all. Really? Yeah, wanna know what happened? Okay! So, we went out to the Christmas Islands to look for ancient treasure. Guess who our tour guide was? It was a robot. And she led us to the shore of a popular river. But, it turns out it was hiding a secret village in the right direction. So, we went with a team of explorers up the river and found this village. We didn't make it to the dig in time, and had to return with the robot. But someday, someday we'll go back, and find that man's hiding spot. I'll do it if you're too old! No. You said so yourself, you want to go where no one's gone. Go there! But remember, things have changed.